Hello and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Control as part of our Sunday Fun Day playlist. The last time we defeated Hartman once and for all. Got rid of him. The weird strung out dude. I don't know what you'd call him. But we did come across a train. The Eagle Limited AWE. And um, I'm very curious about it. So we'll, we'll have a little nosy at that I think. So let's get into it. Aha. So I think we can just go back down to the... Although that's the Bright Falls AWE, I think. What's this way? Oh, this is where we came from, the Bright Falls AWE. I don't think there was anything else to find in here. I think we found all the... There was a, a report. Oh, no, maybe, maybe there is something. So there were some folders, so let's have a look. Bright Falls 1976 Supplement. Ooh. <clears throat> Bright Falls AWE-10. Details. On the day of the flooding, the rock band Old Gods of Asgard was rehearsing in a field outside the Anderson farm, the homestead of band members Odin and Tor Anderson. Both admitted to being in a heavy state of inebriation at the time, having spent days drinking their home-brewed moonshine while celebrating Deerfest. After the townspeople were evacuated from the flooded field, Sheriff Breaker was asked by Freya Anderson, daughter of Tor Anderson, to check on her father and uncle. Breaker drove to the Anderson farm and found the band members alive but in need of medical aid. Tor Anderson had been struck by lightning and Odin Anderson had cut out his own right eye, a possible reference to Nord deities. Norse deities, excuse me, redacted and redacted. They claimed they had fought and valiantly defeated a dark army of the Scratching Hag, rising from the Cauldron Lake, CAWE-redacted, of 1970, related to the suspected redacted at Divers Isle. While impossible to verify, these events are relevant to the recurring AWE at Bright Falls and the Cauldron Lake redacted. Odin and Tor Anderson have been listed as persons of interest. Huh. Mm. Interesting. All right. I think there was a tape. Oops, sorry, there was a tape deck up here that we we need to listen to. These are the notes of Doctor Emil Hartman. I am continuing my work alone again, since certain parties were too blind to recognize a golden opportunity. Mm. Despite my generous offers, the conversations came to naught. Some people simply do not value collaboration as I do. Though I believe now that it was for the best. No. Oh. The sort of bold, pioneering work that I am undertaking cannot thrive under the shackles of bureaucracy and regulation. Oh, God. I have a history of seeking such partnerships. There was a time when I had hoped Alan Wake and I could collaborate. Together, we could have produced art such that the world has never seen. But Wake was stubborn, egotistical. Writers usually are. Huh. Disappointing, nonetheless. But now, like Tom before him, Wake has disappeared into Cauldron Lake. Mm. And this is where my work turns. Hypothetical. Since he was lost to the lake, Thomas Zane has been observed by various townspeople. This indicates to me that the individuals within the lake are not entirely gone. Mm. I anticipate Wake will similarly return one day. While I may harbor some resentment for the man, his raw talent and determination are undeniable. From this, I have concluded that the lake and the dark place within it are not as removed from this world as I previously thought. Given my acute awareness of what awaits within, my meticulous preparations, and my considerable education, I believe myself much more prepared than either Tom or Wake. I should be able to cross into that dark realm with the chance to return as they have. Oh dear. All that remains is the dive itself. It frightens me, I admit, but such is the burden of the truth seeker. I will take my plunge into the dark tomorrow with only the light of knowledge to guide me. It is time for a breakthrough. Until I return. So we know how Hartman became, well, Hartman. By futzing around 
with things that he shouldn't have been messing with. Stupid man. All right. Well, never mind. I don't think there's anything else here. No. Right, well, we will head over to the... Um, to the Eagle Limited AWE and just see... What's going on there? Oh, wait, what's this? There's something in here. What is it? Ooh, another folder. Hello. I hope y'all don't mind me getting all this evidence. I'm just very interested. You know, it's all its all just so curious. Okay, wake evidence. Admission of evidence. Evidence ID 12231-C. Description. A photograph of Alan Wake captured by Alice Wake during an event at her home. Background. Alice Wake former wife of Alan Wake, see AWE 35 for details, has recently been visited at night by her ex-husband, or entity resembling him. See file redacted for more. Being a professional photographer, Mrs Wake positioned cameras with motion sensors around the corridor he appears in, and managed to capture an image of Mr Wake on film. Additional information. During an interview with Mrs Wake, she mentioned that her favourite camera, a redacted model, was lost in 2010 during AWE 35. No match has been found among confiscated evidence from AWE 35. It has been filed as a potential altered item and research staff stationed at Bright Falls are being contacted to check if they have any knowledge of such an item. Mm. Interesting, you know. We've seen that picture, I showed you that picture last time. It was quite horrifying. But, hey-ho, there we go. Oh, do we need to call the lift? Oh no, there's stuff there! Can we send the lift back up? Oh. Okay, I didn't continue. Oh, can we press it and come off it? Yes, we can. Look at this! What's this? Hey, secret stuff! Night Springs screenplay page four. The scientist turns from what used to be his director now transformed into a stranger, an alien that only resembles the director in form. He drops his all-important clipboard as he stumbles towards the closing portal, but the horrible entity is already rushing through it in a flow of insanity and chaos. The scientist becomes caught in it, and the entity devours him, screaming as it enters our world. The director lifts his pistol to his head. His hand is steady, sure in its finality. Director. Or so I thought. Camera fades to black. A gunshot is heard. Narrator voiceover. And so, our hunger for control, our obsession for domination, and our power, the hubris at play in this children's puppet show we're starring in, can only lead to our fall from control, to submit to those who really hold the strings and control us. In Night Springs. End of screenplay. Very nice. Hey, I like it. But what's, what's, okay. Vigorous dodge. Oh, I'm not bothered about that. So what's this? Oh, okay, that brings the lift down. Ah! Okay. Can we just do it again? We'll, yeah, thank you. We'll get out of here. In fact, could we just... We could, you know, we'll just, just, let's just call the lift. Call the lift. So here's the train. I'm just trying to understand... What exactly happened with this train? We've still got to find that head for that dude who's in a... So connect with it? Like this? I mean, didn't we listen Good to all this? Yep, we did. And gentlemen, and... Is there a specific order we have to do this in? Ah, wait a minute. So, this will have been first, won't it? The conductor. Next stops, Alton, nope. Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Tickets, please. Tickets. Oh, yeah, there you go. <gasps> I heard a click. So, we'll have taken the tickets, then... Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited, bound for Chicago. There you go. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Okay. Good evening, all you fine-looking folks. 
Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears as we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right on in. All right. So then it would be the dinner, surely. Hmm. Then the fire. Maybe, maybe it's the woman first? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Okay. Next stops, Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Mm -hmm. Tickets, please. Tickets. I heard the click again. Oh. Okay. Good evening, Music? all you fine-looking folks. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears as we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right on in. Okay, then the dinner. Obviously they had the dinner. Then there was a fire. Did it? Okay, so 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 okay. Me, you have a ticket. Uh, no. Dead in its tracks. Hey, we did it. Right, huh? But I hope you're done replaying it now. Oh, so we kind of cleansed the artifact. Oh, well, that's that brilliant. Looks like an old CZ10 Vista dome. Where? Dylan used to have a book on trains. I'd read with him. I wrote a few like this later. Oh, there you are. Usually were. without a ticket. Okay. Okay, so we need to find a head, I think, of all things, for this. All right. Oh, really? Can you not? There you go, dude. Have that. Oh! Oh! Got him twice! Good night, Vienna. Right. Okay, so. What's this? Is this the head? Oh, the astronaut suit! Of course! A helmet? The head! For a head. Of course! Oh Is my that god. what the prisoner meant? Yeah, it sounds like it. Okay. I guess there's only one way to find out. Yeah, let's, um. Let's go and give the man his head. Uh. How bizarre! Hmm. Okay. Uh. Of course, because they wouldn't consider it like a... 
how we would think of a head. We think of it as like it's just a part of the body. Okay. So does this let this prisoner out, though? Should we do this? Is this the right thing to do? I don't know. Ahead, there you go. Chicken station. <laughs> Far tastier. Press okay. any button. Okay. So the helmet is what you're after, huh? Tubes, snug and grape, pure okay. grapes. Hail a lady. You're welcome, I guess. Did Kirkland lock you up in here? Chief Trouble? Yes. Tesla <laughs> around. But hold out synapiest. Can gather for goldfishes. No wrinkle. Okay. Well, sounds like you're doing fine in there now. Just make sure you don't go anywhere. Jelly. At least we help this guy. Chief Gerbil. Think. Best we leave it locked up. The whole lunar lander. I knew it. The moon landing was faked. Area 51 is a cover up. Aliens are real. Jesse. Although, none of that sounds as exciting as it did a week ago. I would calm down. I don't know whether that's that tells us this or what. Whether it's just a. Oh, you stand on the thing. Okay, well, there you have it. So, Mr. Alien Man, whatever he may be. Or she, or it, I don't know. Make that have a gender. Is sorted. So let's have a look. Okay. Uh, <laughs> find a copy machine. Maybe we should do that. Mm, yes, let's do that. We'll find a copy machine. I know it's not exactly um, what we're supposed to be doing, but, well, what can I say? I'm a sucker for a side quest. <laughs> Okay, operations centre. So we need to find a photocopier in here. There will be one in here, won't there? Arty? Absolutely fabulous, you know. Okay, so we need a photocopier. Where would there be a... F ah, there's the photocopier. What did the chain letter actually say? Did we did we get a copy of it? Uh, correspondence, maybe. Uh, would it be correspondence? Non-official, maybe. Chain letter. Here we go. Move this letter along before he gets you. Oh no! The spooky man letter has found you. The spooky man curse is coming to you. To miss the curse, you must mail this letter to people. If you don't, the curse will get you. The more letters you mail, the better off you'll be. Sally in Houston did not send the letter and the spooky man ate her cat. Terence in Greenstone did not send the letter and the spooky man gave him acne. Kyle did not send the letter and now his wife eats dinner alone. Linda did send more letters, 30 in total so far, and look at her now. She owns three cars. She has all her fingers. She speaks Italian. You need to mail this letter. You better mail this letter. Don't let the spooky man come. He'll take your cat. Go find your stamps. Hurry! I mean, the spooky man seems to be, for one, a very horrible person for killing cats. Let's just put that out there. Or for taking cats as well. I mean, he gave somebody acne. Not the worst. Uh, and Kyle, now his wife eats dinner alone. Maybe they just got divorced. I don't know. I don't know. But well, whatever. All right, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Don't want the spooky man visiting, do we? All right. This certainly feels familiar. How many should I do okay I've done three mail three copies of the chain letter oh oh okay do we have to go to like a mail room or the the something this is this is this is weird isn't it I'm not wrong in thinking this is weird all right let's 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 take a look Okay, um, okay. Let's have a look. Really, we have to do this all three places? Oh, well, never mind. So, utility corridor. Oh, there's a place in the utility corridor we haven't had a look at. Maybe we should pop there, first of all. All right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll do that then. How very odd. One cent. Oh, there you go. We've just sent one. Brilliant. So, 
I wonder. It's showing that there's a room that we haven't been in. So I am a little curious where it could be. Hmm. Let's have a look, shall we? Just for just for fun. Is it through here? No. Hmm. Maybe this? Ah! Here we go. Um let's just set Okay, didn't mean to do that. Okay, we've, we've thoroughly trashed it. Jesse, easy now. Okay, okay, let's just look okay. Got this. Whatever this may be. Got the light. I don't think there's anything else back here, is there? Doesn't look like it. Oh, well, it was worth a nosy. We got something from it. Not much, but, you know. What does this do? Just open this door, I suppose. Okay, let's just put this down. Open this. Like my light. Oh, I don't need it. Okay. Brilliant. Right, so we've mailed one. So, abandoned offices or observation deck. Well, we'll go to... The... No, we still haven't been in that room, look. What the hell? Is it down here? Uh, hmm. Oh, really? There we go. Okay, so... Ah! Maybe it's on another floor. I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, oh, I forgot about that. What's this? Did we go in here? We went in there, didn't we? What? What? What the hell? Okay. Let's 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 just go in here and um, mail this letter. Two down, one to go. Yep. Okay, I can't remember where the last one was. Oh, it was up at what's it, wasn't it? Okay. Okay. So we need to go down, I think. Down this way. Oof. I just need to send a letter. I'm not looking to do anything else. Ah, yes, I remember this is where Bloody Hartman was, wasn't it? Is it this way? Let me past. There we go. Moved it. Hmm. I'm just looking to send a letter. That's all I want to do. All I want to do is send a letter and see what's underneath these stairs now. Ooh, what's this? Okay, we'll go with that first. Brilliant. What's this? for hire. Ooh. Okay. Dearest Hollywood. Good and good beginning. Dearest Hollywood, have you ever wished you had an actor who could do it all? Who could be a man or woman, an adult or child, a dolphin or a Boston Terrier? Well, today's your lucky day. My name is Gareth Clemens and I am the world's greatest actor. Not only do I have years of stage experience, but I am accomplished, an accomplished shapeshifter. Whether you needed a misbehaving cat, ferocious wolfman, swashbuckling pirate, or debonair southern belle, I'm your man. Or am I? I will be arriving in town on May 11th, 1971, and will be available for meetings and auditions beginning on the 13th. See you in the movies, G. Clemens. 
Yeah, Clemens, uh, no offence, mate, but I think you're maybe a little cuckoo bananas. Unless you genuinely are a weird shapeshifter man, in which case, well... Oh, what's Polaris flashing about up here? Can we go through? Nope. I see a Polaris flash. Oh, yeah, there was the plane, wasn't there, or something? Hello, Polaris. Let's let's claim this control point. That's fine. Although Polaris is dead, I believe. I don't know. I don't know. Are they, oh, can we do anything with these? No. Ha. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Can we yoink this power cell? This power cell. No. Clearly, we can't. We need to find another power cell somewhere. But that's cool. Hey, we can find one. That's strange. Okay. Let's even find another power cell. Get this thing up and running. I would be very curious. But we also obviously need to um, find where we can send this letter from. Hmm. Okay. So we'll go. Um, let's just check. Oh yeah, we're in the right spot. Okay. Ah, can we can we get this? No. We probably need to go up. Do we not? Me in. Thank you. Right. Aha, so we can go down here. Alright. Hidden location discovered. Oh, hey, now we're clever. Wait a minute, what's that? Levitation efficiency. Oh, not really something we're particularly are after. Okay. Can we. Yes, here we go. Let's send the letter. Okay. Let's not do that, first of all. And that's three. Should take care of any bad karma or whatever. Yeah. How did that first letter get in here? Hmm. I wonder if I could track it to the source. Maybe, Jesse, maybe. I want another power cell though. That's what I'm really after. That's the truest thing I'm after. Can I take this one? No. Bloody hell. Okay, I didn't really mean to do that. No more of them here now. Hmm. Well, I am curious, you know. Okay, alright. I'm just trashing the joint, that's fine. Is that a power cell on there? No, it's a power cell point though? Is it? It is. Hmm. Are we sure we can't gank this one from here? Come on now. I want this. Well, I just want to know. I'm desperate to know now. It's got me all kinds of curious. Hmm. All right, well, we'll return to the um, the offices and then... Who knows? the tube the whole what these tubes Jesse I I think we need to be careful here girl because I think this was where the the oh yes remember yes looks like we could possibly get in there somehow we're we going the right way here yes we are okay I mean we we can't really follow the tubes too far because ooh. Because, um, where did the ball of death go? There was a ball of death here. Or is it all shifted again and now the ball of death is dead? No, now we've gone too far. What the hell? Ah, is this the other door? Okay, that's right. Let's have a little look around though. Okay, okay. Can I? Yeah, thank you. Okay. So, oh yeah, that's the creepy picture of Trench. 
Oh, all right. Just shine a little light on the subject. Hey, hey. how do I get through this? In a word, no. All right, that's light. So follow the tubes, but we... Hmm. Oh! That opened up. Oh, there's a mailbox. So you're the one sending out spam mail. Yeah. Let's cleanse you. Oh. And that takes care of that. Return to sender. Brilliant. All right. How did I miss that? I don't know. I miss a lot. Whoa. Okay. Ballistic what? Ballistic ammo refund. Uh, do you know what? I'll have a look at those and then um, see what I can get rid of. There we go. Ballistic ammo refund. That might be quite handy. So there you go, folks. We have actually done it. We've cleared out and um, sorted out who has been sending out the dodgy letters. So I think we are going to leave it there. But until next time, be safe, be good, and look after.